Luke boards the Falcon. He finally, you know, after Ray's bugging him for a few days, like, train me, come back, whatever the fuck. He's like, would you fuck off? He goes out in the cover of night while Chewie's trying to eat porgs and not succeeding. And he goes on to the Falcon. We've seen this moment from the trailer and it's beautiful. Like, you know, I, st I start crying in that moment. I'm like, oh my God, he's home. Look at him. And he's touching the dice. Like, I'm getting emotional thinking about it now. That, it was beautiful. But they did it one better. Because I was wondering, like, what is that moment when I saw the trailer? Is he getting on the Falcon for the first time? Are they about to leave the island and shit? But he was looking around, and then he bumps into R2-D2. And I honestly feel like, and I'll probably fucking cry talking about it, this may be the emotional highlight of the movie. I'll try to get through this without getting weppy, but we, all of us, have gone on this adventure for, what, 40 years? I've been doing this shit since I was seven years old talking about Star Wars. Um, for one reason only. We went on this adventure because a boy on a farm met a robot that he wasn't supposed to meet, who was there by total fucking accident or chance, unless, you know, the force, but I don't think so. The droids escape from the Rebel Blockade Runner, land on Tatooine, get picked up by Jawas, is all in Star Wars, of course. And then Luke and his uncle, you know, go buy some fucking droids, and they want one of them. They don't even try to buy R2-D2. They try to buy R5-D4, and he fucking blows up and shit. And so then he's like, we'll fucking take this one. We're on this journey, all of us, because, because of that little droid. And I know it's very fashionable now to be like, hey, BB-8 rocks and fucking R2-D2 socks because he's old school and shit. But it all begins with him. Like, R2-D2 is kind of Luke's heart. So he talks to, to R2-D2 and he's like, no, I'm not going back, man. There's nothing in the world that anybody could do to make me go back. And R2 projects the image, the, the, the message. Oh, my God, I can't believe I'm fucking 47. This is gonna make me cry. r 2 d projects the message that Luke saw as a youngster. Well, help me, well, be one Kenobi or Mon Lope. Oh, in the theater, dude, I was like, I was worse than this. I was bawling, wiping my eyes and my fucking pop chips and shit. It was, that was perfection. That was so good and to bring that back in. Holy fucking shit. And, you know, Luke was just like, man, you, that's low blow. You had to pull that shit out. Again, we're only on this adventure because that little droid showed him that fucking video and for them to bring it back, that was excellent. Just so excellent. There he is looking at, last time he saw that video, she was some space princess and he was in fucking Farmville and he's like, oh my God, I could fucking go up to outer space and join the Star Wars and shit like that. Fight with the rebels against the empire. Now he's looking at this video as an old man and that's his sister and he's gone on this incredible 40 year journey and become a Jedi fucking master because of that video.